HTTV with Illingworth and Gregory. We're joined with Jan Stankovic. Jan, first of all, I think this is the first time we've spoke to you uh, since your first interview when you signed for the club. How have you settled into life in England and especially life in Yorkshire? Hey, um, yes, I settled in quite nicely. I live in, in Huddersfield, so I'm really near to, near to the training ground and training center. So I settled in really nice. The guys helped me a lot and I'm having a really nice time here. Your game times improved dramatically over the last couple of months as the games come thick and fast and it gets it gets a lot busier. How happy have you been with your game time so far? Yeah, because the game plan is so busy, coach must rotate with the players and uh, over the last two months he all he all he rotate all, also with me and uh, I'm really happy to get playing time and I hope I did well and uh, so I will get more playing time in the future. Of course it was a little hard at the beginning because I didn't get so much playing time but um, in every player's career is like this, you're playing and then you're not playing so you must work hard and the opportunity will come. Obviously you started the game against Wigan Athletic on Monday and got your first clean sheet from a game that you've started in. How pleased were you that, that you managed to get that? This game was not really a nice game, but at the end we won 1-0 and we had a clean sheet. So clean sheet is really important for the defenders and I think we did well and I'm really excited for the future. In Germany, obviously you have the, the winter break and you don't have games over Christmas. How have you found that this year, playing in England and having games over Christmas and not just a couple of games, the, the fact that there was three or four over that period? Yeah, it's really the difference between Germany, not even not all, not the Germany, but the whole Europe is having the Christmas break, and here are here is very busy plan, and it's it's really hard. But um, you know, as a professional, you must get used to everything, and you must play, even if it's Christmas or New Year, and you must be prepared. And how have you find, found the championship as well so far this year? I think it's uh, one of the hardest, I think the hardest second league in the world. And I found it really, really good and quite hard. So I'm really impressed. Do you feel like now you've adapted to the championship and, and what kind of strengths you need you need to have in what is a very tough league and have the more experienced players like Mark Hudson who played alongside you on Monday, have they helped you with that? Yeah, of course, all the players helped me and uh, I'm really pleased with that because they, they're not just like players and they're also good persons and it's really nice to have a good person's near to you to help you and to get uh, used to everything. How do you feel like you're developing as a player at Huddersfield Town? Uh, <laughs> this is probably a question for you because you see it from <laughs> outside and I, I cannot speak about myself how I but I think I'm doing well and uh, of course I must improve a lot but this is player's career and you, you move on. And do you do a lot of work with David Wagner as well to help you improve on little things in your game? What's your relationship like with him? Yeah, we work together um, also in two years in Dortmund and uh, I'm, I have a really good relationship with him and also with Christoph. We worked a lot and I think it's really helping me. From watching at the stands, we've seen that you're quite composed on the ball. You like to have the ball at your feet. I mean... In the away game at Norwich, you started the the second goal by the pass to Kashunga. Is that something you've worked on a lot on your game? Yeah, I really like to pass the ball in front of the um, forward players. I really ha like to have the ball at my feet and it's really nice. Um, sometimes you must hit the ball long because it's too much pressure and you don't need to, to be, uh, I don't know, made mistakes or something. So, yeah... I like to play with the ball, but sometimes it's not needed. Obviously, this weekend it's the third round of the FA Cup. Is the FA Cup a competition that's talked about a lot in Germany? Mm, not, mm, not just in Germany, but all over the Europe. Also in Slovenia, where I come from, uh, there is 
a lot of speaking about FA Cup, the the oldest cup and the oldest competition. So I'm really uh, looking forward to it and let's see what it brings. Obviously, you face Port Vale, a team in the, that are in the league below. What do you expect from them? Do you expect them to sit back or to press you really high? Mm, I don't know, but they have nothing to lose. There's just if you win one game, then you are through to the next round. So I don't think they will really. They won't be scared, so they will play their own game, and I hope we will play our own game and uh, also win this game. Just a final word on the fans. They were outstanding uh, against Wigan and they have been all season. How important is it for you as players that they come out in their numbers once again to the John Smith Stadium on Saturday? Mm, they were really great last time against Wigan, but not just against Wigan. The, the, whole, the whole season there were great and I hope they will come to the Portwell game and support us like always and I hope we'll do our best to to give them with a win and uh, so that's everything they so I can just say they are really the best fans